sun is out, peeking through a little hole. Wow, you can actually see the blue sky right now. Hurricane Milton packed the punch last night. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. And welcome to the morning after Hurricane Milton has passed its way through uh, Florida. Lots of, lots of devastating news here this morning. Over two million people without power. Tons of hurt, sorry, uh, tornadoes. I'm really tired, I didn't really get too much sleep. I do wanna go around um, here in Central Florida, mainly in Celebration, just to kinda see how everything did hang up. Celebration, I believe, is actually one of the safest in uh, um, Central Florida because our power is underneath. I didn't lose power at all, maybe some other people did. And uh, we're actually like above flooding zones. So I don't think there's gonna be too much flooding. I'm pretty sure a lot of people did take precautions. Again, even if that is the case, it still can happen. And obviously my prayers go out to everybody who has been affected anywhere in Florida. It's just been a, um, a devastating morning to, to wake up to. So welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Curfew has ended, so we can leave. And it's not too windy out. So let's, let's head out. Honestly, I feel really lucky we didn't really have any damages. It didn't feel like we weren't gonna have any. It was really scary of a storm. I uh, definitely do wanna get sleep today because I probably got like, I was, I was up and, you know, turning all night, peeking my head. Probably got like three hours, four hours of sleep maybe. Feels like less. Actually, I luckily I checked this. I gotta wait a little bit, um, about a half hour until curfew does end. We've been in curfew. So I'm gonna wait until that lifts and then we'll head on out. I don't wanna break any of these uh, rules. Otherwise, if you do, I believe think you can get a ticket. But it's been interesting because I've seen a lot of cars driving through. So I am going to abide by this and we'll check uh, in a few here. And I do believe that is for those uh, who are cleaning up, have more access to the roads and stuff. But partially, a lot of uh, residents will go out to, to report the damage to help those who are cleaning it up as well. So this is kind of normal for hurricanes so that the word gets out and then that they can clean it up too. Hopefully when we head out here, I have already seen people heading out. We don't see too much like that's the last thing I want to see I don't really expect a lot besides trees hopefully an update on Disney Disney actually just told their resort guests to stay in doors obviously I'm not staying on Disney property Disney is actually all closed today I believe you guys are gonna be seeing this video on um, Saturday so this is Thursday upon filming this video Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Hopefully that's just the, the worst of it here. Looks like a lot of the, the ropes that were holding these trees down also snapped. If that's the worst of it, that, that's God's blessing right there. I can definitely see the water levels are high. Again, we did get a lot of water, but you can see it how celebration is built a little bit higher than the lakes a little bit higher than um, the trees itself and it is to prevent flooding our community will definitely get this picked up probably today i mean if not we'll be here for a couple days i feel like a tree really isn't that much of a concern wow somebody already has a roofer out here that was quick new construction has held its own don't see much blown out. That's a good sign. Someone left their carpet outside. I think that's a carpet or a rug. Big wind tunnel, multiple trees down. Even the the wood that holds them up is all knocked down as well. 
there's a chat in our community and it does look like a lot of everybody is out reporting damage which is really nice to see especially for those who don't live here I, I do see another tree down actually if all we have is tree damage again that is a blessing so far that's all I'm seeing a lot of people's roofs are intact that is that is a good thing considering we did I believe get up to 80 miles per hour of wind Uh, gonna go slow here. This road has seen uh, way better days. Don't want anything to start flying up at my car here. Definitely at least a concern of the pickup team's got a palm tree down here. It's just snapped in half. Wow. Lots of debris. It's not really windy out, so I'm not really too concerned. This is the worst I've ever seen it. To go into my neighborhood, there's pretty much only one way. And this was my biggest concern and worry. Check this out. Flooding. If we would have got some more rain, this could have been pretty bad. Definitely the most trees I've ever seen down and palm trees down in a hurricane. This is the most damage I've personally ever seen and we've kind of just begun going out. Another massive palm tree down. Oh no. Got a roadblock here at Publix. Total of four, oh my gosh, five trees down in Publix parking lot. It's also very eerie seeing this empty. I don't think they're opening today. I hope they don't. Tons of other cars are outside as well. Pretty tight knit, close uh, city. I feel like just with celebration alone, it's gonna take, I don't know how long the process is, but uh, I would think it would take a little bit longer than a couple weeks to get all these cleared out because they're gonna have to take these trees, right? Or they, they try to replant them. Ooh. Porta potty fell over? Or did they tie it? It's one thing to see all this on video and it's another to actually kind of be experiencing it. It's a very eerie feeling. I had to stop because I hear something on my tire. Something's stuck. Hopefully it's not like a nail or something, but that's the chance I take going out here. I don't see anything. Something's making a weird noise though. Found the culprit. This was in my tire. I was easily to pull it out. So I don't think it is gonna cause a flat. I'm gonna monitor it. I think it was actually just not like lodged. So I think we we dodged a bullet here. That uh could have been bad. Car doesn't say I have a flat, so it would instantly tell me and if I was able to pull it out, we we're good. Crisis averted. Let's let's get out of here. I'm gonna think we're good because I was able to pull it out and it wasn't like lodged in there. I think we just barely squeaked out of there. Just gonna reset my tire pressure to see what happens before we head out out here. But like if it was in my tire, there's no way I would have been able to pull it out. Pretty sure we're good, but you know, it's a, it's a chance you take when you when you go out here after a hurricane. Crisis averted. Tire pressure is good, no leaks. Dodged a bullet. Lots of debris everywhere. Wow. I'm gonna go slow. This road is 
completely filled with, there's so much cleanup. My goodness. Wow. Trees everywhere. Looks like the street has become the grass. This cleanup is going to be insane. Wow. I kind of feel like I should get a Jeep for this. Oh, wow. Check this out. This is bad. There's that flooding. If Celebration didn't build up, this would all be definitely poured into the street. You can you guys see the elevation? It might be kind of hard to see that. But I had to step outside to see this street. I've seen nothing like this ever before. More of the, the flooding. Is that a gator? Ooh, that scared me. I don't think it is. Sidewalk. This is a street. Doesn't really look like it. Sheesh. Can only imagine what the coast looks like. That was not a lake before. Ooh, there is a drain here though. So that's nice. Gotta watch my step. You're not wearing the best shoes today. That was kind of dumb. I feel like just to clean up celebration alone, it's gonna take a month. There's just so much. Like every corner is just littered with something. Oh my goodness. That is not good. Oh my gosh. I think that's the worst thing. It's shattered, that car shattered. Holy cow. Every single street has something. And this is everywhere in Florida. Literally speechless. This is, I just, I don't know. I don't even want to go look anymore. It's really sad. I had a feeling there was gonna be debris, but I just didn't really imagine this. It's very difficult to wrap your head around. Where I live, there is nothing like this. As you can see, it's just very dense in downtown celebration. There's the cleanup crew. They have three dump trucks lined up there. Definitely the most I've ever seen as far as damages from a hurricane. Before I do head home, Celebration has a lot of these little paths that are probably completely all destroyed with trees, at least on the on the walkway. This is this is a public like bike path, walkway. I don't know if I actually want to go in here too far just because there could be some stuff that is loose. You know, stuff that hasn't fallen yet, but it still has the opportunity to fall. Like, look at this. Doesn't even look like there's a path straight ahead.
Man, so much cleanup. I feel like we didn't even get the worst of it either, obviously, because the coast, like I've said. Wow. The good thing is we are all okay here. Casey and I obviously are okay. That's a path. That's a path over here too. Well, I'm gonna start heading back and actually surprisingly too, this area really isn't flooded. I thought it would be. So from what I can see, uh, it looks like Celebration didn't get too much flooding. I think Orlando, like more towards downtown did. There's some of the flooding, but not not that bad. Yikes. Big yikes. Gas is still all out. It's also why I'm gonna be calling it short here. Gotta keep my gas. Well folks, I am home now. Casey and I are actually about to go on a a walk here, but I just want to kind of express my gratitude for everybody here on the channel. Um, as far as the video that I said I was going to be donating money on, some of you guys were sending some super chats in the comments, so all that is going to be going towards the donation. I won't know until tomorrow and on how much that actually makes and how much I'm going to contribute to. A lot of you guys said animal shelters. I do know my church or my, my friend's church will be accepting donations too. So I might be doing that online. We got pretty lucky here in Celebration where I live. There's honestly not much because the trees really aren't as high yet. So that was very lucky. As you saw when we went downtown, There, there's a lot. There's also a lot at Disney. Disney is remaining closed today. There's some light posts down. There's just, there's just a lot. And this is the area where there really wasn't a lot going on, but there technically was, but, and I'm, what I'm referring to is the coast. So, um, thanks for all your concerns. Um, everything guys, it's, it's been a, been a wild night. It literally felt like there was animals pounding on our door, pounding on the walls last night. It was the scariest thing probably I've ever been through, but, um, yeah, thanks for all the support. Still no news on Disney cruise line. As of now, if you guys, when you guys see this video, I might be going on a cruise. I don't know potentially yet, so we'll have to wait and see what does happen. I'm kind of expecting to, but I'm also kind of expecting that there's not going to be a cruise. And if we are going on that cruise, FYI, we're actually not going to be going live um, on Saturday. Those videos will be pumped out probably, I think, starting on next Wednesday if we do head on the cruise. So with that, everybody, that was it for your Daily Dose. And I know talking about a cruise isn't really... The best thing since we just went through this huge tragedy but i'm just informing you guys who watch every day that's kind of what's going on since i do post each and every single day um, but we're safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow uh, be safe out there and love you guys peace out